A resin tint is not a coat of paint. Paint covers up, but tints accentuate what is already there. We have long opted to use resin tints in nearly all of the custom surfboards we build because it highlights the craftsmanship that goes into building each surfboard. A resin tint is exactly what it sounds like. The process of adding a color tinted pigment to the resin used in the surfboard laminating process. Every great glass job starts with a great lamination, and every great resin tint starts by hand mixing the desired color in a cup, a process that is more art than science. Adding a tint to the resin adds an additional layer of complexity. For a surfboard laminator, a perfectly executed tint is a sign of mastery of his craft. As you can see, the color looks nearly black in the cup, but when you spread that color in a thin layer over a large white surface like a surfboard, you reveal its true shade and hue. Once the resin saturates the fiberglass cloth, there's no going back. You're committed. Ryan will do one side today and leave it in the rack to cure overnight before repeating this process on the other side tomorrow. Building custom surfboards means no two surfboards are ever truly identical. Each one is carefully and methodically built one at a time. The lamination is just the first step in the whole glassing process. If you want to follow a surfboard all the way through production, check out how an Alden surfboard is made. If you want to browse our available inventory of custom-built surfboards like the 8 Joys in this video, visit our shop in Costa Mesa or check out the Surfboards in Stock tab on almondsurfboards.com.